Three, two, one, charge! Robots moving to begin this autonomous period as 12.58 Seabot slams into the Red Alliance station. Apex returns the favor on the blue side. 55.88 is across. 49.15, no motion. And it'll be 32.20 in favor of blue as the teleoperated period begins right now. Seabot finds the low goal for blue. Apex finds it for red. Everybody keeping pace. And now our robots will go to work on the outer works. 54-68, the Retrobots go up top but cannot connect. Rain up and over the rock wall. Now trying to figure out what to do next as they head back under the low bar. Apex drops Mulder in the low goal for red. T-Bot does the same for blue and it's 46 to 39 as the Blue Alliance has the early lead. Spartronics up and over the Cheval to freeze. The Red Alliance very close to breaching already. Just a couple more crossings. 5803 knocks one of those out as they go up and over the ramparts. 5468, the Retrobots dutifully holding the door open to the Sally Port. Now they go through, but a little too quick. Seabot can't follow, and they'll have to try that again. Looks like the Lakerbots may be in trouble. They are caught up on the red low bar and not moving. They may be dead in the water. Could be trouble for the Blue Alliance as they are having clinging to a five point lead with a minute 15 to go. Apex back into the blue tower. They drop a folder in the low goal. Spartronics looking to do the same. And 49-15, not quite aligned correctly, but they'll see what they can do. The Red Alliance has completely taken out the blue outer works. No crossings left for points. Blue Alliance has earned their breach as well as the Lakerbots now back in action. One crossing in the Cheval de Fries, all that's left for the Blue Alliance. Seabot going to focus on boulders, though. They'll put one in the low goal, and it's all tied up at 70 with 45 seconds to go. Rain continues to the red scoring effort as 55-88 puts one in the low goal. Apex now back to do what they do best and add to the scoring. Blue Tower down at one strength. Red Tower at three as we now have 30 seconds to go. Both outer works with nothing left on them and you see the robot's gonna head back to the tower. Apex wants one more boulder as the Retrobots put one up but cannot connect. Apex tries to find the low goal, and they do. They're going to head into position. We know they're able to get off the ground. Their alliance partner's back to join them. All three blue robots get into position as well. Here comes 5803. Seven seconds. Is that enough? They go five, four, three, two, one. And just like that, 5803 shows us how it's done up in the air. We'll get that scored and get you your results right after this. The 5803 scale does make the difference, and the victory will go to the Red Alliance. Four ranking points off the board, and that sends our rookie team, Apex Robotics, to the number one seed. Followed closely by Rain at number six. Not all lost to the Blue Alliance. They take home a ranking point and all move up. Led by Seabot now at number 13.